For more than two weeks, the Saudis insisted nothing untoward happened in this building. The Jamal Khashoggi walked in and walked out again alive. Now this. An admission the journalist is in fact dead and the Saudis killed him. But does their story add up and will it convince anyone? It requires believing that Jamal Khashoggi, a mild-mannered journalist, fought a fist fight in the consulate that led to his death with a number of other men. The Saudi government says 18 people have been arrested and are being investigated. Among them, it's thought at least some of the 15 agents Turks say were sent to Istanbul to deal with Khashoggi and a high-ranking intelligence official, General Asiri. Turkish officials say they have evidence Khashoggi was tortured, killed and dismembered. A very different story from the Saudi version of events. Saudi Arabia has been a great ally, but what happened is unacceptable. I would prefer uh, if there is going to be some form of sanction or what we may determine to do, if anything, uh, because this was a lot of people they're talking about and people pretty high up. But I would prefer that we don't use as retribution uh, cancelling $110 billion worth of work. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman emerges unscathed for now, appointed head of a new committee to restructure Saudi intelligence in the wake of the debacle. The affair has already damaged his reputation as both competent ruler and reformer. And key questions remain. Will allies swallow the story or will America press on with sanctions? Will the Turks produce evidence to the contrary? And if this is the truth, why did Saudis lie for two and a half weeks before changing their story?